This is That Cat Webinars. I'm Kat Simpson. You know who I am. And this is Karen Locker. Isn't she awesome? She is today's expert. Her new business, Solutions for E-Commerce, is where she helps solopreneurs grow their businesses, and that's why she's here today. Help you use Google Docs, Google Drive, to be a more organized, profitable business person. The webinar is being recorded. This is a free version, and you will be a replay up on the YouTube channel for That Cat. And you'll get a link to that in the follow-up email that comes from GoToWebinar. Uh, everything that the, that CAT webinars teaches, it's important to us that you understand how and why. So if you have a question, please, we have three ladies here watching for questions, so we will try to get your questions answered. This is a short version, so we're not going to stay forever, uh, but we will answer all your basic questions for today. Solutions for e-commerce is up. Karen, that's you, and I'm going to make you the presenter, and you can take it and go. Let me find this Karen screen here. Well, there we go. And all she's got to do is say yes, and you guys will see, see seeing her screen in just a minute. Karen's going to go live and help us learn exactly how Google Docs and Google Drive can make a difference in our businesses. Have you got the buttons? I think I've got the buttons. Let's see. I've got you on my screen. So, do let everybody know that I I've... See screen. All right. Thanks. That's what I was trying to spit out. So... I live in Google Docs. As you can see by my screen, there are my Google Docs. Um, there was a program called Google Cloud Connect, which is a wonderful thing, and Google is getting rid of it. So if you look at my listing, you can see a whole bunch of different icons. Okay. Still. So I have there's folders, there's documents, there's spreadsheets. If it's a Word, that's a Word document that I uploaded from my computer. There's Excel. So there's a whole variety of different things. You can work on your own hard drive and then upload it to Google Drive. What I love about Google Drive is it's accessible everywhere. You can have it on your phones. You can have it on your computers. You can have it on your tablets, your laptops. Anywhere you want to be, you can have your information with you. So it's really running, running your business on the cloud. The other thing I like about it is it makes it really easy to collaborate. You can, I can work on a document and you can see I have a shared with me and I have as many in the shared file as I do in my own personal file. It's just a cat and I working, if we're working on a project together, we can share the document back and forth. If I'm doing work for a client, I can do the work right there in Google Drive, share it with them, they can use it, download it, and you're not emailing these big Excel files back and forth. Um, that's part of the problem is when you start emailing these big files back and forth and all that stuff, you end up with having multiple copies of the same file, sometimes not always the same copies of the same files, and things can get really messed up. So that's what's nice about this. It's always the same. So what I figured I'd show you is just some of the basics today. So basically, you have your Google Drive, and you can find it at drive.google.com, and it's associated with whatever your um, Gmail address is. That's the easiest way to get into it, is with your Gmail address. As you can see, mine's up over here in the corner. And what you can do is you can create documents. So, for example, I need to write a Word document. Most people would use Word. But you can just go right into this, you can open a document, and just create it just like a, a Microsoft Word. It's got all of the, the files, you can share it, you can make a copy of it, you can download it into a whole bunch of different formats, even into PDFs. You can publish it from there. So it's just a general, they have the whole editor that you need, it's just a general like you know, you can just type whatever you need. They also have, let me go back, they also have templates to help you do things that help you find different ways to do things. Um, you can find text documents. I lost my, sorry, I lost my train of thought there for a minute. But it makes it really nice to be able to just keep it all in one place. And after drawings, after documents, the other thing most commonly used is spreadsheets. And it's just like Excel. It's got a lot of the same 
the same editors, a lot of the same things. You can insert charts, whatever type of chart you want. You can do your different data. I have lots of different, I have tons of different spreadsheets that I've created in here. And it's just a basic spreadsheet. You just name it, whatever you name it, like spreadsheet test. You can click OK. And it just gives you, you know, a basic thing. They always want you to say, it automatically saves it, so no more making a change and forgetting it, because every change you make is saved. There's nothing worse than doing a huge document in Excel and then hitting, forgetting to hit save and closing it out or your computer crashes. And I've had that happen more times than I want to talk about. So this is nice. Every change you make, every time you do something, Google Drive automatically saves it. The other nice thing is that you can share it with somebody. So, for example, I have a bunch of shared documents. So if I wanted to go into one, like my challenge coins, I can be working in it, and my, my VA that works with me on it could also be working in it. And you would see two cursors, and you would see two different boxes. You could see the changes each one is making, so it makes it really easy to collaborate together which is one of the nicest parts of it. Kat and I have been in documents lots of times where we just, you know, free flow and we correct each other's words, spelling. Um, the only time it gets a little confusing is when you're not sure whose cursor you're, so you're trying to click on something and it wasn't your cursor that was there. But it's, it's really nice to be able to collaborate with others. The other nice thing that they have is they have create presentations. So you use PowerPoint to do presentations. When I was working with Kat to get ready for this yesterday, I just created it all right here in Google Docs. So I didn't have to worry about emailing it to Kat, waiting for Kat to get it. She could just come in here and grab what she needed. You just can start, they give you a basic template, and you can just put your data in however you need it. So I had an agenda. <laughs> and then I wrote just the things I was going to talk about, you know, Google Drive. spreadsheets, and like that. And then when Kat needed to do the presentation, she could do it from right, you know, she could grab it from right here. You can also present from right here. So that's one of the other great things about it is, is you could actually click and do a presentation from right here, which is really makes it easy. No more having multiple places, multiple things to do it in. And, and save it, rename it. One of the best things I found, and anybody who's a rock star knows I did the, I've done this in the past, I can create a document and then I can share it. And then after you share it, you can just keep making copies of the same document over and over again and just retitle them. So this would be copy of spreadsheet two. So if you have somebody that you're doing something for, like when we had the roadmap calendar, I could make it, and then I could re I could reschedule it, and then re save it, and then everybody could name it their own name and have it for themselves. So those are the, the basic main parts of Google Drive that I like. The new thing that Google Drive has is they download for PC. And what it does is it puts Google Drive on your hard drive as well as in the cloud. Since they're getting rid of that Google Cloud Connect, they're getting rid of the Cloud Connect, so no longer can you just save a document and it automatically goes up to the Google Cloud. Now you have to save it and put it on your drive so that it'll sync. So if you're working offline, it'll still sync the changes to your to your Google Cloud document. That's the newest thing that they've done. They've changed it. I haven't done a lot of work with it yet. One thing I wanted to ask you about was when you download that Google Drive onto your hard drive, doesn't mm -hmm. that, I mean, it's great because it syncs. As soon as you could get online, it would sync your documents and everything. But wouldn't it also take up a lot of space on your hard drive? It doesn't seem to, and I don't, 
I have a lot of documents, but documents aren't that big. It's when you start saving pictures and videos and stuff on your drive that it would take up space. Okay, so having the drive on your computer downloaded onto your PC or your Mac, that means that you can work on those documents offline. So if right, I'm on right. a plane, I can work on my Google Documents. And then when I get to my hotel that night and log on to the Internet, my drive that's on my hard drive will sync with my cloud drive. Right, right. It, should, so it that, will all sync up. Okay, so that if I go to my next door neighbor's house and use their computer, I can get onto my Google Drive through the Internet and have the latest version of documents, right? Exactly. exactly. That is pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. And I mean, well, you and I know, because we've used this a ton, is when you work together on something, and, and how many things have we done together, there's just tons and tons of different applications you can use to share stuff. The other thing I've found is, because it's the Google Cloud, and I forget, you get two gigabytes free, and then you can always buy more um, space. I've used it to share pictures with people. Um, when we had an ice retailer last year, when I took all my pictures, I uploaded them to Google Drive, and then Brandon was able to take them from there and put them where he needed to put them. You can put videos up there. Almost anything you need to share, you can put on that on the Google Drive. Yeah, and you know, um, with my move coming up, I've been putting more and more stuff, and I do video files because of the, all the webinars, so there's a lot, that's a big file. And as many as I've used, I think my bill last month was $3. Yeah, so. <laughs> Go, I bought for 5 bucks. I think I bought 50 gigabytes of space. So, I mean, mm -hmm. it's really inexpensive. It's like $20. There's a variety of ways where you can buy more space on the Google Cloud. And you can, get, you can earn more, too. I remember when... When they first came up, um, if, you have, if you connect your Google account, you get an extra two gigabytes or something. And then if you download the drive onto it, you get an extra, you know, whatever. So they give away the space pretty free. I don't, you know, it's, exactly. I think it's, we can talk pol politics and it's Google runs the world thing, but <laughs> basically they're giving it away pretty cheaply for storage. Well, and the other nice thing is they have folders, um, and that, that was going to be the next thing on my discussion until I locked up again. So, for example, I have these ECC folders, which is when Kat and I used to do the ECC radio show. I'm able to put everything in the folder. My computer will let me go into it. I can put everything in the folder, and it's all just in one chunk. So if I want to look up something that we did together for ECC two years ago, it's all in that folder to be able to look at. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the folders really help keep it organized because it does get messy. But it's like anything else. It's like Charlene taught us about Evernote. Evernote's wonderful, just like Google Docs are wonderful. But if they're not organized, they're not a they're not an or, they're not a, right, an organizational right. tool. You've got to still set up the framework for them. Exactly. You and you need to know. The nice thing is it has this really nice search bar, so you can just type in whatever you want to search for. My screen may be up, but I'm still not functioning. By the way. So, you know, if I need to look for a document, I can just type in the search bar and it'll help me find it. You and can Charlene, sort... I'm sorry, Charlene was asking how much space they get. I believe it starts out with two gigs just to begin with, right? Right, I think it starts with two gigs. Okay. And then you can always buy more. You were talking about organization, sorry about that. Well, yeah, no, that's okay. You can, you can set up a, over on the... Can you still see my screen? Yes, I can see it. We can see okay. all of the uh, files. Okay, and you can see my mouse or can you not? Yes, oh, I can hey. see your cursor moving. Okay. They have a sort button. I won't let me click on it, but they have one. So you can sort it by when it was last modified, which is what I sort by, because then I know the most recent stuff is going to be at the top. You can sort it by the type of file. There's a lot of different sorts you can do on it, which mm -hmm. makes things nice. So what would you say the primary benefit to a small business person with Google Documents and Google Drive is? Is it the collaboration where you can work with your VAs and share files more easily? Um, is it the free space? Is it the, um, the way you can actually use Google Drive? If you really get into Google Drive and learn it, you can make it your substitute for Microsoft Office if you're trying to get away from Microsoft Office for cost reasons or whatever. You can actually substitute Google Drive and Google Documents as your version of Microsoft Office. Would you say, I know those are all benefits, what would you say is the standout thing to you that you would rec makes you recommend Google Drive to your clients? There's two. The easy collaboration, easy sharing. Like I said, I can do all my client work right on my Google Drive and then it automatically, they can access it as I'm working on it. 
you know, if they see something they want me to change, they can tell me right then. They can leave me notes. There's comments and things that they can leave me notes. The other one is the collaboration. And obviously those two go hand in hand because if you're doing work for other people, mm -hmm. you always want to be able to, to collaborate with them when you can. And the fact that it's accessible from anywhere. Like I said, there's a Google App Drive, Google Drive app. Mm -hmm for your phones and your um, tablets. So if you download that, then your documents are accessible when you're on the road. If I'm sitting waiting at swimming lessons, I can get into my Google Drive and, and work on something if I need to. Yeah, and you know, my college son is here visiting, and he just got a Chromebook for his new laptop. And I've been looking at Chromebooks for a long time, trying to decide, can I use that to do the things I do? The, the um, hold back on that is that you can't really install programs on it. But you know, it seems like, that a lot of the people are moving away from programs to the world of apps. So these Chromebooks come with apps, and Google app, Google Drive app would be one of the major benefits. You'd have all of your documents on the Chromebook whenever you wanted them. Exactly. Also, many, many thanks to Christine Rivera. She just looked up, and currently, when Karen and I started with Google Drive, it was free two gigs. And then we, we earned more by doing, I don't know, whatever Google wanted us to do. We got free stuff. Um, and they now, if you start out, up. Christina just looked it up and found out you get five gigs just to sign up. So when you first start using Google Drive, you've got five gigs of storage space free. Thank you, Christine. And and that's a lot of storage. I mean, I forget. I with all of this stuff that I have in here, I use very little um, space. I think I use 0.2 percent of my space. Again, I think it's like you said, spreadsheets and documents are so minuscule. Exactly. It's, you know, it's, it's, when you get into video files is when you get into, I had to buy some space. Um, right. Karen might have, might have to buy some space because she works with clients, so every client has their own set of documents. Charlene's got a great question that I need to know, too, because I, I just saw, it was funny, I just saw one of your Bling My Bra documents in there. And so I've got documents in there that are from 2009. Is there mm -hmm. a way to archive those so that you don't see them every time, or do you just put those in a folder that says archive or something? I just, I generally put them in a folder. I don't know, honestly, I don't know if you can archive them. I've never tried. I would look right now, but Google Drive is not, the page is not working. Okay. My Chrome, my Chrome label is, my Chrome browser is frozen it's, on me. That is so funny. We're doing this it webinar is, to yeah. tell you how wonderful Google and is, and Google Chrome, and it's freezing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I think it's, it's actually probably my computer because it was telling me I was, even though I've shut everything off, it was still telling me I was doing too much. Yeah, I love it when the computer tells you. Oh, you know what? what? Yes, it might be because of that warning. That's also possible. You may not be able to access your Google Drive until you answer that warning. So, of course, that's good timing. Um, okay. Let's see. <laughs> but our research assistant, uh, to the rescue again, thank you, Christine, she says it's five gigs free when you sign up with Google Drive, and then if you want to buy space, it's $2.49 a month for 25 more gigs. So, and like I said, unless you're doing heavy video editing, one of my sons is posting a bunch of videos on Facebook. He's getting into video editing. If you're doing a lot of video editing, if you're doing a lot of webinars that you're recording and sharing those files with others, you might need to buy that space. But if you're doing documents mainly and even small picture files, I think the five gigs is going to last you a long time, wouldn't you say, Chris, uh, Karen? Yeah, I would definitely say it will. Okay, someone from Venezuela was trying to hack my account. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious! Would you, would you like me to Would you like to give the presentation to me, and I'll pull mine up, and you can make. No, here you go. I just pulled it. I got into it on another screen. Okay. It like so now it thinks you're in Venezuela. You all know I, I corrected it over on the other screen. So that's the other nice thing is you can. It'll let you know if someone's trying to hack you. We didn't. We didn't know we were doing a demonstration on Google security, but hey, yeah, hey look at works. the bonuses you get with the That Cat webinar. <laughs> so see, these are all images that I've uploaded. And this is all images. There's tons of them. They were Because I had to share with my VA, so it was really easy to just upload the files and share them. And then they can download them and do what they need to do with them. You, we need to get you to give a course on pictures. Those are awesome. So you use Google Docs for your clients. You do spreadsheets for your clients, and you've got a VA who does listings, so you can give her all of that. 
What right. else is something that I would use? I think I'm in Google Docs every day, but that's, again, spreadsheets, daily to-do lists. What's something else that you think is important for a small business person to know about Google Drive? It's just an easy way to keep everything together. You know, you don't have to open this document. You don't have to find this file on this, you know, when I, if I look at my Excel files or if I look at my um, Word doc, documents, they're all in different folders, different files, they're all over the place. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you, sometimes when you save stuff, it saves to some unknown place because it doesn't give you the choice where to save it. Everything's here. I can just open up, and I mean, you saw how quick when that free screen froze up, I was able to just pull it up and pull it back over. Mm -hmm. I like the Google search, because you, is that how you find stuff, because Google search is so good? Well, yeah, so like if I, and if I wanted to look, now that I can do it, if I wanted to look for my, my roadmap, I can pull up any of them. And I mean, some of these are really old, and they've been around forever. And it also will look for your, your contacts at the same time when it's searching. It'll look for any of your contacts if you need to get somebody's email address. There's a whole lot of different things that I can look up. And my files go back to, let's see, I think I go back to 2009. I mean, this is back when you and I were first planning um, ECC Radio. I've got those files. Yeah, I go all the way back to... June of 2000, oh, all the way down to January 4th of 2011. So anything I was ever working on, I have a template for. I can find it in here. I can search for it. And Google search rocks because even if you can't remember what you called it, and that's my problem. I don't remember what I titled a document. I like Google search because I can, I can remember what a phrase I put in that document. And I can search for that phrase, and the Google search will pull up the document that has that phrase in it. It helped me a lot to find her. Char says that she also keeps her medical expenses and the barcodes. Now that's very useful because those of us selling on Amazon will buy barcodes by the 100s or 500s. And you've got to keep track of what barcode goes with what item. And that's a spreadsheet deal. So Google Docs. Exactly. And one of the other things while we were just talking as I found out is you can also have something not show in the activity list. So th th there's your archive, Charlene. Exactly. And then the other thing is, see how some of these are highlighted? Mm -hmm. That means that somebody that I shared it with has answered it recently or has made a change to it. Interesting. So, you know, when you go into these, what is you? I know that you've struggled sometimes getting teaching clients to use them. We talked one time, and you were one of your clients having a really hard time understanding Google Docs. This all seems so simple to me, so I, I don't I don't want to gloss over that. What did your client find difficult understanding and using Google Docs? One of the hardest things is when you first share a document. So, for example, when when um, a perfect example is when Janelle did the first rock star um, roadmap this year. And I made a copy of the file, because you can see there's lots of Rockstar 2013s in here. I made a copy of the file for somebody to be able to use. And what would happen is, is if people didn't make a copy, they were, doing it on the, they were doing the information on the original spreadsheet, which was viewable to anybody who had the link. Because you have some documents that you can share to one person, one to one, and you have others that you can make public. Like when I did that, I made it public so anybody who was in the rock stars that wanted that document could get at it as long as they had the link. You can make it public with the link. You can make it public public that anybody can find it. Mm -hmm. Or you can make it, you know, private or shared. Those are the different okay, choices So what you have. they didn't understand was they didn't understand that they should have made a copy and had their own copy. They were writing right, when they made right. one. Okay. And then once you make your copy, then that's just yours. Once you make a copy on your drive, and understanding where it is, you know, that when you make a copy, that stays on your Google Drive. And it's no longer on mine. So I can't see it. Yes. Now, another thing, too, is I do the, the, um, 
the That Cat Radio scripts on Google Docs. And when you make a copy, like I'll take last week's script and make a copy to make the next week's, there is an option to copy the document collaborators. So I have two VAs that work with me on That Cat Radio. And so when I make a copy for the next script, I check that box, copy document collaborator. So in that case, I'm making a copy, but the two people that I share with are going to be shared on the new document. So Google gives the option to do it either way. Exactly. exactly. And there's a couple of smaller, um, there's a couple of small things that are like preference. There's not a lot of choices for appearances for this, but right now I have it on the list view because that's easier for me. But you could also have it on a grid view, which actually gives you a picture of whatever it is that you're working on. Interesting. Now, see, this one doesn't show you because that's the Word document that I uploaded. This is would be a spreadsheet that I uploaded. So it's still in the Excel version. But these are all the different. And I have had minor issues with uploading an Excel document and then downloading it. Sometimes the formatting is a little bit off. So they're working on that. Um, right. The issues so far have been very, very minor. I don't think it's enough to be a problem. Um, the one issue that I've had with a client not being able, doc able to use Google Documents, because I use this to share with my clients our questions and my coaching clients, and they don't understand that they're getting an invitation. They want me to send them a link to the document. And when you share a document, um, you can all, of course, just send the link to your friends or your, your VA or your collaborator. But what happens if I go to my sharing settings and I say, share this document with Karen, Karen will get an email that looks like it came from Google saying, Kathy has shared this document with you. So right. yeah, somebody that's new to Google Documents, you kind of have to explain that to them. You're going to get an email. It's going to have a link to the document. In and there's also, there's also a link like to show just a quick showing of sharing. If I want to share this spreadsheet, I can go into sharing. And it gives you a link right here. Right. That you can also send, if someone says, you know, give me the link to that document, I don't feel like looking, searching, you can just quick pull up this link. And check so those share buttons. You can also right. email it right from there. You can put yep. it up on Google+, Plus, Facebook, you know. So if I want to share it with Kathy, because that's, you notice know, she comes up on the top of my list. Over on the side where it says, can edit. Yeah, now and I can, mm -hmm. and you can always put, can view, meaning that they can't change it, they can just look at it. So if you're sending something for somebody that you've worked a lot of hours on and you just want them to proof it, you can send it that they can just view it, that they can't make changes on it. That was so that great. gives you a lot. Yeah, because Christine had that question, can you lock a document? Now, yes, yes. in Excel, you can lock certain cells, and I think in Google Documents you can. I was looking at the um, article we were reading yesterday, and you can select, like if you've got this formula all figured out and you don't want anybody to mess with it, you can select those cells and lock those cells. And then the, the rest of the document people can edit, but those can't Yeah, be. it's protect, protected ranges you can set up. And so you can, you can collaborate, and then when you get to a final point, okay, we're done with that. We're still collaborating on the rest of it, so you can lock part of a document. Now, interestingly enough, anybody who owns a document can lock it. So if you share it with other people and they have editing rights, they can also do the lock thing. So True. watch True. that with your collaboration. Um, another great question from Christine, which I don't have an answer. I'm not sure you do either. I'm thinking we have to ask Google, but great question. If a document is shared, like the 3,000 documents Karen and I share, who pays for the storage, Karen or Kat, or both? Both, because it's on both of your documents. It's on both of your place. It's on your drive and it's on my drive, so it's in both of our storages. Interesting. And again, because you can go into it, you can go into it on. You don't have to be with online. me. You're not in it on my drive. It's on your drive and it's on my drive. I would think. That makes sense. I, I, I still think it's a great question. It's one of those, hmm, I hadn't thought about that. But I think uh, again, with the documents, we're talking minuscule storage. The only right, time right. you're really talking serious storage space is videos. Um, pictures a little bit, but videos. Well, right. I have 26 gigabytes of space on my Google. And with all of this stuff that you see, and I have a whole lot of pictures and a whole lot of other stuff, I'm using 5 gigs. Wow. I'm I mean, not sure it, I want to know how much I'm using. <laughs> So, I mean, I have a lot of stuff on it. So there's a cut. And the only other really change you can make on how it looks is if you want it comfortable, which is a little more spaced out. That's for cozy. my office. I like comfortable. And then I cozy. also like to make it even bigger than that. And see, I like compact because I have so much in it, I want to be able to see as much as I can see of it. 
And Shar said, thank you. She didn't know you could do grid view. She likes that. Um, if someone shares a document with you and you no longer need it, can you remove it from your drive? Yes. I would yes, yes, yes but I'm, I'm just guessing. Have you yeah, done that? Yeah. If you, you click if you on it, deleted my documents I shared with you. How dare you? No, I wouldn't delete anything of yours because you're going to need it again sometime. <laughs> I just you just click on the checkbox next to it and just hit the trash can, and it removes it off of there. Wow. Okay. You know, so I can do that with any of these that I created. Um, okay, so when you click on a document, you can preview it. Oh, I like that. You can. Put it in a folder, and there's a whole lot of other choices you can do with it. You can download it. You can submit it to the template gallery, and I have to refine it because it used to just easily give me templates. Yeah, that and it's not. Gallery looks very interesting to me. Do you know they actually have templates for business plans, folks? They have templates for different types of presentations you're giving. Um, I don't know about you, but I don't believe in um, reinventing the wheel. Uh, nope, if I'm nope. going to be doing a presentation on Sunbeam, and there's five other presentations, I'm going to look at those, and I'm going to use some of the elements of each of them. Um, if you're trying to put together a, a VA contract with your VA, why not look and see what somebody else has done and learn from that? So I think the temp I've always loved the templates in Microsoft Office, and now that I found them in Google Docs, I really love it. Okay. Yeah. We're, we're at half an the, hour, so yep, whatever yep. you want to cover. And, and well, I pretty much did, and just if there's any questions. But here's just an example of some of the document, um, document templates for just the written word type of document. That's just, that's what these are. And then you can keep going and you can find. Scrapbooking, did y'all see that? Oh, yeah. Calculators and calendars. I've used, Voices, I've used calendars. Letters. I love my invoices. That's where I've cr created mine from. So, I mean, there's all sorts of templates yeah. that you can create to make anything easier. One of the things that I've discovered is if you click here, it'll open the document. If you click the box, it doesn't always open the document. If you click over here, it sometimes puts the box in and doesn't. You have to actually click on the title. That was one of the biggest frustrations I keep running into is because I'm in a hurry and I'm just clicking on something. But like, you know, last night, Kat That's wanted to... computer frustration. Why won't it exactly. do what I want it to do instead of what I'm telling it to do? <laughs> exactly. And, you know, Kat was asking me yesterday for a presentation, so I put it together right here. And this is what it looked the like. Agenda, like. Folks. <laughs> yeah, there's the agenda that Kat didn't show you. <laughs> that slide was next. We skipped over too soon. But uh, I think we covered it all. Now, uh, we're going to give them an option. If you guys, this is the free introduction. Um, and it's, it was just a brief overview of what Google Docs can do for you. Uh, we're going to do a two-hour webinar. We're going to aim to let Karen present for about 90 minutes and then 30 minutes Q&A. That's the plan. And what she's going to do is she's going to walk through step by step how to create use, share, collaborate, and edit uh, documents, spreadsheets, presentations, photos, all of the different options. And we're also going to talk about the Google Drive app, um, how you can use that on your tablet and all of that. So all of that will be in the long version, which is Wednesday, two days from now at noon. Uh, if you're interested in signing up for that, it's really easy. It's thatcat.com forward slash Google Docs. Very simple, $39 for two hours, and uh, it's going to be excellent. This was just a quick overview, um, so we would love to see you on Wednesday. Again, it's thatcat.com forward slash Google Docs, and we'll put the link in the chat room, and we'll be done with that. Thank you, April. Okay, Karen, any last-minute worries? I, I just love that in the middle of the any webinar. Any last-minute worries? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just thought it was cool that you got a, the, the worry that somebody from Venezuela was getting into your account in the middle of Yeah, the so now i got to change my password, which means now i got to change my email password. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you guys. You've been a great audience. Christine, really appreciate your uh, research for us on the, on the uh, amount of storage space. Charlene, great questions. Thanks for being here. And we'll see you guys all on Wednesday at uh, Google Docs Advanced Training, thatcat.com forward slash Google Docs. See you then. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.